This video is going to help you understand what a gnomon is as it pertains to similar shapes in our math class. This rectangle, the gray rectangle, is similar to the white rectangle. In other words, the sides are proportional. I would multiply the length of the short side times some number to get the length of the short side of the white rectangle. And I would use that same multiplier on the long side of the gray rectangle to get the length of the white rectangle. What a gnomon is, is a shape that if I add it to the gray rectangle, I just attach it on there, I would end up with the same size rectangle as this similar rectangle. So if I attach this L shape to my gray rectangle, I get a rectangle that is the same size as the larger similar rectangle. So this L shape is gnomon to the gray rectangle. There's one gnomon shape. But the gray rectangle has another kind of gnomon. I could use this frame shape because if I attach this white border to the gray rectangle, I get a shape that is the same size as the similar shape. So we have two gnomons for this gray rectangle. Now we're going to look at some triangles. I'm going to look at this little purple triangle here. And I want to illustrate that it's similar because the angles all match. The small angle matches, that larger angle matches in the corner, and the last angle matches. So since those angles are all the same, these two shapes are similar. So to find a gnomon, I need a shape that if I add it to this small triangle, it's going to make this larger triangle. So if I add this quadrilateral to the little triangle, I get the same size triangle that it's similar to. So this shape is gnomon to the little purple triangle. Another shape that's gnomon to the little purple triangle is this one. If I add this quadrilateral to that side of the triangle, I get the same triangle that the small one is similar to. So there are two possible gnomons to this little purple triangle. Now to find a gnomon to a circle, I just need to add something that's going to make a bigger circle. Something that's gnomon is just a disk shape. If I just put this disk around the outside, I get a larger circle. And circles are all similar. So a disk is gnomon to a circle. Now a, to enlarge this disk, the inner radius has to be multiplied by a number to get this inner radius. And that same number has to multiply by the outer radius to get the new outer radius. So the darker disk is, no, is similar to the smaller disk, but we can't make a gnomon. Notice that I can't add anything to the smaller green disk to make the larger one because I would also have to take away from the center to make sure that the inner radius grew as well. So disks do not have gnomons. Now I want to look at two new rectangles. These two rectangles are similar. I'm going to take this small pink rectangle and transform it just rotate it. And when I sit it on 
the other rectangle, you can see that this part would be nomen to it. Well, it turns out that a square is nomen to this kind of rectangle. And this kind of rectangle is a golden rectangle. Golden rectangles are the only rectangles that have a square to be nomen for it. On our first rectangle that we drew, if I had put a square on the side of that rectangle, the new rectangle would not have been similar. So golden rectangles are the only ones that have a square that is nomen to it. This is an equilateral triangle, and this is another equilateral triangle. And, and these two equilateral triangles are similar. I've tipped the one on its side, and if I fit it in here, you can see that the nomen the leftover pink here, is another equilateral triangle. These two equilateral triangles are called the golden triangles. That's nomens.